She wants you to know that today's item is brought to you by Ploy Lab. You can click the link down below for 15% off on this item. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers. Retro Rob here, and today we're gonna look at something kinda weird. That is, that's right, the Family Pocket GV300, which is a Fama clone with its own screen that kinda looks like an old TV. Um, I've run into these a few times and thought they looked kinda interesting, and Play Lab was nice enough to send me one, so we're gonna check it out. And of course, we're gonna give it the full treatment with the front of the box. The Family Pocket GV300, which means good value. <laughs> Suitable for children over 15 years old. What a strangely, what, wow, what an arbitrary number 15 is. Oh well, anyway, this kid's pushing 50, so I don't need to worry about it. Let's spin her around to the back. That says bookshelf. Hey, apparently it's also a clock. I have to check that out. That means it's competing directly, directly with the Game & Watch. Inside this is a bookshelf retro TV, manual, lithium batteries. Oh, nice, it's rechargeable. AV cable, charger cable, and two wireless pads. It says double wireless pad, that's so odd. They should, eh, well, we won't worry about it. Due to the characteristics of the LCD, there are some dots that do not light up or that never turn off. However, please take note that this is not a defect. Y yes, it's 2020 and that is a defect if that happens. What's in Rob's box? Alright, let's bust into this. Pretty excited about this one actually, so... <laughs> I always like when they put happy faces. He's missing an eye! He's got an eye poked out. Anyway, the uh, controllers are in these. I'll take these out in a moment. Next we have the device itself. And we'll come back to that as well. Hmm. We have yet another controller. And we'll come back to that. And we have the antenna. We have a manual that, oh wait, 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 wait. Look at that, there is the manual. Thank you for your attention to Family Pocket bull, Bookshelf, bull, bull Shelf. Let's try that again. Thank you for your attention to Family Pocket Bookshelf Retro TV. You now buy this TV set that restore ancient ways. <laughs> All right, has the following functions and features, and you can you can read those right there if you'd like to freeze the screen, have fun. <laughs> that was some good English. But hey, let's face it, we've all heard mine. And we have one analog out or I'm sorry, uh, RCA out. We've got charger and there's some screws in here, a screwdriver and what looks like a reset button. Yep, there we go. This is for reset buttons. All right, let's assemble this thing. All right, not much to this. Just gonna stick this guy in the back here. It kind of doesn't fit very well. There. Let's take a look at it. Well, yeah, that looks quite respectable. Let's pull that off. And yeah, looks pretty nice. Um, look at that. It turns on and off with this. Oh man, I'm gonna have to charge it. That sucks. Oh wait, maybe not. Okay, I'll have to come back to that in a minute, but on off switch is right there. Uh, we've got power right here. We got that AV out right here, spinning around. 
batteries all over the place. Got battery here, battery compartment here. Here's the other side. Yep, there is, as I guessed, a reset hole. I think I already showed you the bottom. And here's the top. So, the plastics actually feel pretty good. They're not, um, they're not super high quality, but they're definitely not that cheap. Uh, buttons, they're not rubberized, but they're not bad. Let's take a look at the controllers. D-pad, feels okay, uh, nothing real horrible, and on this type of device, to be honest, if it's not horrible, that gives it a thumbs up. Uh, it feels like it could game okay, and we're definitely gonna test that out in a little bit. We got A, B, X, Y, A, B, Turbo A, Turbo B, another A and B button set right here, up on the top, on the shoulders, because of course these are Nintendo games, they don't use four buttons. Got a menu button, lights up when you press it. Select start. Speaking of lights, there's another light right here. If I plug this in to charge the battery, it does have a replaceable rechargeable AA battery right here. So if I plug it in, it will light up blue to indicate that it's charging. If you really want me to do that, oh, here we go. It works thusly. Wait. <laughs> so there's only two directions to put the plug. How come it takes me more than two to plug it in? There we go. Blue light indicates it's charging. Going around to the back, there's also a switch defining whether this is player one or player two controller. And that is really about it. Again, not super heavy, not super light. Feels pretty good in the hands. Not bad at all. There's a family pocket next to the Nintendo Game & Watch. Well, it's got more games. All right, going back to the unit itself. On the bottom, there's two AA rechargeable batteries that are factory installed. If you charge from here, that will recharge these batteries. There's also four in the back here that a user can add. So there's nothing in here when you buy the thing. Uh, I don't think the circuit recharges this. At least according to the manual of what I can make out, it doesn't. If somebody knows better, let me know. Uh, for safety, when I charge it, I've been taking these out. It needs this screw in here. It will not retain the batteries if you don't have the screw, even though it's got like uh, the type of... Uh, type of battery compartment that should hold it doesn't so that's just life with that not a big deal though all right now let's take a look at the screen a second first time that you turn this on this is what you're going to see I'm gonna hit the set button down here below it's in Chinese I'm gonna hit set again hit the right and I'm gonna switch it over to English of course if you're French out there you want to select French and now I can set the time right here. I'm not going to bother, but pretty standard. You can change the font color. So I think I'm going to use green. Look at that. That looks really nice. I think it has a good, uh, a good retro look to it. And then there's screen off time. Got it set to two minutes right now. Probably change that later. You can restore the defaults and then exit. If I want to play games on it. There we go. Pretty cool. Alrighty, as mentioned. If I turn this on, it switches into game mode. It also acts as the volume control. You can hear a little bit of buzzing when it switches into game mode, just so you know. I'm going to turn this a little bit nicer so you can see it. And I'm going to flip through the 108 and 1 games. There's a little bit of repetition here. You see that? Mario Adventure Island. Little Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> a couple hacks in here too. Fantasy Zone. 
Ooh, Wrecking Crew. You don't see that one very often. And Mario Runner. That's kind of an odd one. Little Pac-Man. Little Bomberman. Would have been happier if it had uh, some more games on it, but it's not terrible. And one more page. And there's the games that are built in. Let's try a couple. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. It's Gundak! It looks really good on this little screen. I'm pretty impressed with that. There we go. And secondary fire works fine. Yep, there's the B button. One thing to note, I had a little problem earlier uh, where the controllers weren't working really well. And if that's happening, there's a good chance it's because you're out of battery juice. So you might want to make sure to charge this before playing it. Uh, if you're going to get decent enjoyment. And this controller is working just fine. I'm really not having a problem with it. Oh, be darned. I'd like to really complain about it, but... Um, let's see. Yep, I just got no complaints. Sorry. Good game, too. Come on, you. There's rapid fire. Not doing a whole lot on this game. Uh, let's see. The sound. It's okay. It's not, you know, astounding or anything. But it's not offensive either. Come on. Yeah, this game's really solid. No, you need to die, dude. He's very unhappy. Come on. I gotta get him. Oh! And there we go, some gun knack. Let's try this out connected to an external screen. Time for the low runner test. For those of you who are regulars to this channel, you will know that there is a test that I make on every Famiclone uh, with this game. What basically happens is on many Famiclones, the A and B button are reversed, so the digging on this game will not be natural. Uh, basically, it'll be reversed. However, I can tell you right now ugh, that my gameplay is horrible just due to me because indeed... This has passed the load runner test. The digging is correct, and that's good. Now let's try and finish the stinking level. I am playing awfully lately. Just, just horrible. Like almost every gameplay video I've done lately has been pretty pathetic. So let's try to at least finish things off here. Dang it. I have to come back for it. Mm -hmm. 
wait till I get here. Fair enough. There might be one more coming. Oh, where's the one they dropped? There it is. Got it, got it, got it. We're okay. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go back to playing off the screen because it's a little bit more fun, to be honest. That's no hack there. All right, we're gonna do one player. I don't know why I love this version of the game so much, but it just cracks me up. Yeah. Again, controller's working really well. A little bit of a beat down. Ooh. No, you're taking it. There we go. No, you're not. Yeah, let's pick this guy up. That'll learn him. There we go. Come here. It's basically everyday life in Racine. Nice Racine joke there. You missed it. Sorry about that. Hyper localization. Come on. Baseball bat, heck yeah. Or a stick or whatever. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. No, you don't. And no, I don't. That big sucker. Oh, come on. Nah, you're getting beat up. There we go. All right, let's try another game. How about a little bubble bobble? Bubble bobble two, that is. This is one of three bubble bobble twos that were made. Not on this platform, but, uh, well, actually, two of them were on this platform. Both uh, Rainbow Islands and this are the story of Bubble Bobble 2. But wait, there's also a uh, Game Boy version that is indeed the story of Bubble Bobble 2. So there's a lot of stories of uh, Bubble Bobble 2. And again, playing really pretty well. I'm not having any problems. Oh, I messed it up. Come on. There we go. First impressions are pretty good. Let's just finish up this one level here. And declare it done.
Ooh, I could have done that better. Goodies collected. Here's Wrecking Crew. You don't actually see this game that often on machines like this, so... That's a plus. And we'll just finish a level real quick. And try not to embarrass myself by getting killed on the first level. Come on, you. Fine. Run! There we go. It's actually a pretty neat little game. Oh, I see what I'm missing. There we go. Level complete. Happy to see that Hyper Olympics on here. Here we go. Oop. I can't cheat it. Oh no. I was hoping to use the uh, rapid fire. It didn't work. Whew. Man. Long jump time. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I'm really glad they put this one on here because this is really a classic game that you would definitely want to play back in the day. For the record, the rapid fire button worked on that. You're gonna have to, you have to talk your friends out of cheating on that. There we go. And we'll do one more because I think I qualified. Yep. Well, I'm gonna do poorly. No! Oh, I fell! Darn it! <laughs> Crud. Alright, let's wrap this up. Oh, hey, one more thing I almost failed to mention is that in gameplay, if you want to adjust the contrast or the color, you can hit, hit the settings button, and sure enough, you can adjust it. How cool is that? Anyway, just an extra feature. All right, so what's the verdict on the Family Pocket GV300? What an interesting device this is. I really do like the form factor of it. I think it looks really cool and it's fun to play. The screen looks really, really great. Uh, the battery, <laughs> the battery situation is kind of interesting. Again, both the controllers have rechargeable batteries in them and the device has two rechargeable batteries in it, but it also has a space in the back for extra batteries so you can put four more double A's in it. So again, the whole thing's rechargeable. You can just run it off the rechargeable batteries, but it does give you the option to run it off of four other double A's. Uh, the game selection on it is pretty darn good. I uh, I, I thought it was an interesting selection of games. Yes, there's some repeats. Realistically, you're probably only getting about 70 games out of the 100 and some claimed on it. But still, that's a pretty big amount. There's going to be plenty here to keep the kids or you in the office, if you put this on your shelf or something, uh, busy. Uh, screen, as I mentioned, looks really, really great. It is a very good looking screen. As far as the sound goes, it's pretty clear. It's not absolutely perfect uh but 
it has decent volume and it doesn't sound bad uh, controllers work well pretty happy with those I'm really actually pretty impressed with these they worked way better than I had expected so all in all if you're willing to spend the money on it I think this thing's got a $50 MSRP I'm gonna give it a thumbs up I want to thank you very much for watching this video. By the way, I got a link down below. I want to thank Ploy Lab for sending this out to me. If you want to get it through Ploy Lab, you can save 15% if you click through my link down there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.